Na2S2O5 or sodium bisulfate, no, not to be confused with metacumin, is an inorganic compound that is a strong reducing agent. The anion consists of an SO2 group linked to an SO3 group with a negative charge more localized on an SO3 group. Sodium isulfate is used as a food additive, one of the main ingredients in making wine and beer. Sodium metabisulfite is getting me through college. And also used to remove chloramine in from our drinking water. <sighs> its other uses include... Local anesthetics. Photography. Removing tree stumps. EpiPens. Added to a blood smear and a test for sickle cell anemia. Source of SO2 in wine. Precipitates gold from auric acid. Used in waste treatments. Bleaching agent in production of coconut cream. Breaks sulfide bonds in shrunken items of clothing made of natural fibers, thus allowing the garment to go back to its original shape after washing. This is sodium metabisulfite, and it's 10 grams of it, which is lethal and could kill someone. We're gonna leave this in here. Sodium metabisulfite is slowly oxidized to sulfate on exposure to air and moisture. And make sure not to mix it with water or sulfur dioxide will result. Sulfur dioxide is a toxic gas with pungent suffocating odor and whether you find out the hard way or not, we all know now that it is produced when sodium metabisulfite reacts with hydrogen ions in water or acids. But some of you may still be skeptical, so we are going to prove it through a specific gas test for sulfur dioxide. We took potassium dichromate and mixed it with distilled water and a few drops of sulfuric acid to create an acidified solution. Because of the small amount of H plus ions in water, we used hydrochloric acid to make it quicker and cooler. Wow, look at the bubbles. As the reaction between sodium metabisulfite and hydrochloric acid proceeds, sulfur dioxide is bubbled through the solution of potassium dichromate, changing the color to green. Once the reaction is finished, all that's left in the container is table salt, NaCl, and water, and no one will suspect a thing. If it's too boring for you, we also did it with extra sodium metabisulfate and hydrochloric acid. Whoop! Look at this! Michel Eugène Chevreul was a French chemist, and in his work, he created a compound called Chevreul salt using potassium or sodium metabisulfite. Not only does the compound have a lovely color, but it is a mixed valence compound that contains both oxidation states for copper. To create Chevreul salt in the lab, we started by dissolving 2.4 grams of copper sulfate and 2 grams of sodium metabisulfite, creating a light blue solution and colorless solution. After combining the two, a beautiful green solution is formed. Whoa, look at the flame! Then, we boil the solution for several minutes, definitely not spilling any of it in the process because we are safe, professional chemists. Here we go. Here we go! The crystalline precipitate that forms is Chervil salt. We filtered it out, dried it, and then we looked at it under a microscope. Wowza! Would you look at that pigment! Speaking of that pigment, try our new Chervil salt eyeshadow as part of the chemistry collection. That's all today, old sports. Don't let chemistry be a chem mystery.